Stage six is downtown Edmonton. It is a circuit, 11 laps, 124.1 kilometers. And key in this stage is the fact that there are three tough climbs. You can tell by that elevation of this course just being so nasty. Up and down, lots of direction changes in a city circuit, downtown Edmonton. We're throwing quite a bit at those riders. Now live to this stage six, and we've had an eight-man group breaking away and pretty much controlling the first mountain stage and the first sprint. Well, I think that the pace has been increased because of the fear of what that breakaway means. Those riders up there are incredibly close in GC. The Peloton, just over a minute behind, chasing down the eight riders on lap six. So there's Molema, race leader after five stages. Two laps to go in the final stage of the Tour of Alberta for 2015, and the peloton is starting to make its move. You know, it wasn't just the KOM breakaway. This became the GC fight breakaway, and that is something completely different. A team like Trek would be happy letting a KOM breakaway go. You know, letting riders like Benedetti and Perry fight it out for those, for those points, but because of those Hincapie riders being in there, forcing the hand of the peloton of Trek Factory Racing incredibly fast in the back of the peloton. Yeah, you can see how fast these guys are going now. Benedetti unable to win the KOM sprints, but he's going for it here. He's got a lot of energy still. One last attack for him, trying to get off the front. 11 circuits here in downtown Edmonton, and now the field is together, being led again by Trek Factory Racing. Oh, the attacks are coming thick and fast now. Everybody trying to establish. Cannon Del Garmin going again with Tom Yeltis Lochter. Buck Molma on his wheel. Watch out. 2.7 kilometers to go, and these two guys might get into a drag race again. And there's no better way to turn someone off of the attack than to have them look back and see that yellow jersey. Molema making the turn. He's taking the inside track. He's there. He's second right now. The man in yellow. No better way to stay out of the trouble than to be on the front inside that 1K to go bit. A couple of turns left in the final stage of the Tour of Alberta. Michael Matthews sitting perfectly in third position, ready to launch behind that giant Alperson rider. Now to the finish. Michael Matthews swings out to the left. Matthews to the line. Did he do it? Giant Alpeson with the win. Matthews waiting too long, unable to get around him. Nikias Arndt, who was bested at the line in Grand Prairie in stage two. This time, he was able to hold off the push by Michael Matthews. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. Get on the podium once. It's not as good as being in the winner's circle, being on the top step of that podium. Nikias Arndt of Giant Alpeson out. Lasted Michael Matthews. Dion Smith was third. Well, the Tour of Alberta wraps up this way. Unofficially, it is Bauka Molema, who is at over 20 hours of racing, just six seconds ahead of Adam Yates of Orica Green Edge. Tom Yelter Schleiter in third place.